Right, the next job that I'm doing today is come in, it's, a, it's an Escort Mark 1 Lotus Twin Cam for a customer that we've done a couple of bits for before. Um, he's built his, old, his own engine, he's an engineer so he's very clued up, um, but the engine is uh, smoking a little bit, it's, it's burning a little bit of oil. So he brought the block over to us to have a measure up and when I measured the original piston that was in it, which he re-rung uh, re and honed, um, the piston to bore clearance is at 5,000 so it was it's too big really um, the engine is completely standard the customer wants to keep it completely standard but it's at 83 and a half mil and they sell an 83.65 piston uh, which is an acrylite Amiga piston um, so that's it there however the compression height for this piston is a higher compression piston he doesn't want that he wants to keep it standard so we've got to hone the bore out because this is not a direct fit we still need to take a few thou out but I'll show that in a moment so we've got to measure the pistons and make sure we hone them the first job that I'm doing though is to take it from that compression height which is I believe 12 point something to one standard and we're making it standard so this is one that I've already machined so this has got a 20 thou step on it now which is uh, 0.5 of a mil which is what my customers asked for so to machine these pistons is various ways we can do it we can stick it on the mill and fly cut across uh, we can put it in the lathe some people when they put them in the lathe they hold them together with tape um, or put emery around them I don't like that we don't do that so what I've done is made a load of different harbours to, ho to hold the piston through the pin. And I find it to be by far the best clamping way and most secure. So I've got loads of these made for different pistons. So this one is the one that I've got for cross flows and Lotus Twin Cams and MGBs and things like that. So I'm just going to tighten that up which locks the piston through the pin into the arbour. I've then got a mark, so I've, all, I've marked the side of it, so I always put it in the chuck of the lathe a certain way. And what I've done is I've set this axis here, the Z axis, to zero once I've got the compression height, which is this one here, how I want it. However, I'm not going to go straight down to zero and hope that it's right. I'm going to bring this down so there's about 15 thou left. Once I've got it down to 15 thou, I'll then measure with this gauge here. Get them all the same. So I'm basically, I'm measuring across here and onto this part here. I want them all at 20 thou. And then I'll double check them upstairs as well with the, height, with the depth gauge, height gauge. Uh, that's reading really 5 inch because I've moved the, the lathe away from the, the, the work. So I'm going to switch my lathe on. Bring the cutter in. So basically there's about 190 thou to come off these pistons. Also not doing a massive cut, I'm doing about 30,000 inch back. And when I get close I'll clean the tool up and lubricate it slightly as well.
16 thou left. So I'm going to move the cutter away from it, switch the lathe off, I'll have a measure and then take the final cut. In fact, I'll put this on, so I can put this on my head. Okay, so we need to take six thousandths off that. Let me just double check on here as well. This is the first one that I've done. Yes. Okay. Cutter leaves a lovely finish on them. And this is more for just deburring it and making sure everything is nice and smooth. I'm not really putting any pressure on that. Yeah, that's a lovely finish. Let's have a measure up. So that look, looks like I need to just make a one thousandth pass. Just double check it. Oh no, it's fine. 
just double check this so yeah it's fine perfect so two more to do and we're getting there okay so the next thing to sort out is this uh, the lotus block it's already 83 and a half mil my customer bought this up last week for us to have a look at honing it to get it to size but with the measure up we realised that it's about five, five and a half thou piston to ball clearance, which is too much. And there's ball wear, which you can see at the top. Luckily for him, um, Aqualite and Amiga, them pistons that I've machined, are at 83.65. So with the extra piston to ball clearance that it's running, and the, the piston to ball clearance that it should be, it means that I've only got to take about three thou out of the block to get it to the right clearance. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, the good thing about that is I can also correct the bore because the bore's not where well, it's quite old it's not actually round anymore so the honer luckily with the honer having um, stone and then rails the rails will correct I can feel it as it goes down I can feel the uh, on this friction feed here I can feel it get tighter um, so I can just correct where the bore needs correcting and the three thou gives me enough meat in the bore to correct it. It actually sounds incredible outside. I don't know if you can hear, I'm gonna take you outside. The gravity shows on round at podium. So there's all Ferraris and Lamborghinis and R8s and some really cool cars and they're all revving up, but. No, the only thing we can hear is uh, an aeroplane up there. I might go ride round. Do I take, take Ken Block's old transit or do I get my race car out and risk taking it on the road round the corner? It's only right round the back, it's not far at all. Do I go and take the race car round there? Mm, don't know, don't know what to do. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm gonna hone that first anyway. The other job that I thought I would show, because it's going on the same, um, the same video, is the SR20 DET. I've now sorted out the bores on this, so the next thing for me to do on that is to sort out this horrendous uh, block finish and put a nice chamfer on it. So that's it, that's the intruder machined off these four Lotus pistons. Uh, I've left half a mil, 20 thou step, which is what uh, my customer wanted. So I'm gonna box them up. And then I've just got to finish the ball with a smooth finish. So uh, I've got it to size now. And I've just got to uh, get rid of the peaks now. We've got the valleys and we just need to take the tops off the peaks. So that's the next job. So that's the Lotus block all done now. Uh, I'm just gonna let all the old honing oil drain off it. There's only, the only mark that's left in it is there on uh, cylinder number three, but you can't feel it. But that's um, got the right piston to bore clearance now. I mean, that feels so much better. Before, it was uh, the original piston was pretty loose in that bore. So there we go. And that's the uh, finished crown with his uh, half mil intruder or 20 thou intruder. So I'm gonna wipe the piston off, put it in the box, let this own in oil drain off it, and then uh, get ready for my customer to come and collect it all. 